Hello everyone, this is Crazy 14 and I'm recording another episode of my Monster Hunter Generations Monster Showcase. And today it's going to be Lagombi. He's a free star quest in, in the village and for the online hub, he's a one star and he would be one of your key quests. I believe he's a key quest for both free star village and one star hub. If I remember my stuff right, he should be starting in 6. Because he loves the snow, loves being on top. Because the frozen sea. And he doesn't start in 6 after all. I think it's 8. And as you see, I took the hydrone parts and made the. Sword and Shield. There's Lagami. He starts in 8 after all. Alright, let's get him painted. So basically, this time I'm going to be using Aerial Sword and Shield. See if I can get some mounts on him. If I could do that with Incapacity, I'm enough to... Right. This is only a stage one called called a Hydra Bite. Oh man. oh man, I'm cornered. And it's a good thing that got me decided it wanted to sit back. And we got our first mount. Yeah, this guy's returning from free, uh, free ultimate and also from four ultimate. Not much has changed except now his snowball gets bigger. I think. Eh, unless that was a thing in for you, I forget. And there goes his only break. Which is his sub quest for this one. What I'm doing. I'm just doing the village one, so. As you can see, I got that poison off, so that's going to really help me deal with Lagambi. I don't have a set yet that can take advantage of the status of inflictions. That's never he likes to do. He likes to throw snow, uh, huck snow, uh, snowballs up in the air to land on you. Yeah, and this one doesn't have a lot of green sharpness. It doesn't have a lot of yellow sharpness either. Might as well grab this because that comes from his broken ears. Yeah, that's right. Look, I'm going to be focused on the cats while I sharpen. Hmm. That took longer than it should. Better bring him over here. He's too close to zoning out. Yep, that's there's this number. Of those. Now, if I get an opportunity, I do want to show the giant snowballs he can roll at you. And there's Sword Dance. Which I do like on the status sword and shields, like, like the Viper Bite and the Hydra Bite. Now the Viper Bite is what, what you get when you upgrade the Gendrome sword and shield. Right, that sword, that the sword, the shield part is coming in handy at least. There's some gear parade. No gear drone because gear drone would be too way too easy, like it was in Freedom Unite.
Unless I'm at a point where I need to sharpen. Yeah, luckily that poison's taking effect. And again, one of the nice things about Short and Shield is you can actually use your items while while your weapon's out. I got another sword dance ready. No, it's not going to boost my attack two stages. This isn't Pokemon. <laughs> Though it would be really sweet if if we got a Pokemon Monster Hunter crossover in some way. Preferably in the form of DLC, but that's just me. I'm not talking about hunting Charizards. I'm talking about just one of my... Ah, oh, got another poison off. I got my second right off. I feel I'm too close to zoning now to And this is way too close. Well, all right, my hot drink wore off. He's worn out and poisoned. And looks like the poison wore off, but just enough where I could land a final blow. So, sadly, I did not get to show Lagambi rolling a giant snowball at me. But, you don't get to control what the monster can do. Sadly, but that'll do it for this episode on J Crazy Six Fourteen. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and adios.